Well, you're never going to guess where this July edition of Local Image is coming from, so I'm just going to tell you. I'm up on the rooftop of Rudy's Red Eye Grill in White Bear Lake. It's the only rooftop bar and grill in the area. It's sleek, it's got a great view, and the fabulous Rudy's food and drinks will be on the menu for this rooftop venue. We'll share more, including a look around a little later in the show. But first, a trip to a Lake Elmo home, the site for a festive event that is music to the ears of families fighting for a cure for cystic fibrosis. Well, we're at the home of the Olson family here in Lake Elmo, and they're going to tell us about a very exciting and important event taking place here later this month. And I have with me Rob Olson, Jill Olson, Jake, and AJ. So thanks for having us out. It's a beautiful day here in Lake Elmo. Thanks for, thanks for coming. coming. We appreciate it. So Rob, tell us the name of this event and what it's all about. It's the Breathe Easy Music Festival. Um, we're getting probably 12 or 13 musicians and bands and performers to come out and, and uh, perform for the crowds and raise money for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And this is the second annual, is that correct? Technically, yes. Okay. We did throw a party one, uh, two years ago but, and passed a hat, but it wasn't technically the, okay. that type of event. So, so it's, it's a fundraising event and it's going to be bigger and better than ever this year and we'll get into some of the details of what people will find here. But why is this event and the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation so near and dear to your, your family? Why is it so important to you guys? Well, we have two boys with cystic fibrosis. Uh, it's a genetic disease that, you know, right now currently has an average lifespan of about 37 years. It affects the lungs and digestive system. Uh, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation has um, worked over the past 30 to 40 years to make that average go from less than grade school age to where it is now and they're making huge strides. Right. But we have to raise money. We have to uh, fund it. The government doesn't fund small diseases. When I say small, 30,000 uh, people in the U.S. have CF and um, so it's up to us, the parents, the people who are involved, the people it touches their heart to raise money to find those uh, advancements. And it has, there, there's been, like you said, a lot of great advancements. What's on the horizon? Is there some exciting news at all? There really fun? is. There are a couple of drugs that they've discovered correct some of the defects of the CF gene and problems that uh, cause CF and the problems with CF, which um, they're going through the phase two studies right now, and that it has uh, great potential of almost curing CF, awesome. but mainly curing the effects of it, which is really exciting. Uh, and I liken it to where asthma was a few years, not too many years ago, right. where they started using inhalers. Mm -hmm. um, and they can live relatively normal lives. I can attest to that, because I'm one of those people that use an inhaler, and it, it changes your life. I remember, you know, when I was very young, there was limited things that you could do, and now it's it's a miracle drug, you know, really. And that's what we're calling this. It's almost like the, the magic pill, really. Yeah. It's, um, you know, right now they do treatments of 30 to 40 minutes twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, they take, you know, hundreds of pills a week to help digest their food and do other things and, and uh, vitamins and, and uh, nutrients that will replace the problems that CF causes in their body. So this event is just a great way to raise awareness and you know get the funds needed to help move forward with some of these new uh, drugs and, and just all the advancements that are out there. So why should people come here besides just knowing that it's a good thing to do? Why should people come here for this event? What's going to make it so exciting? Give us some more details. Well, first of all, we started it because we love music. My yeah. brother and I, we um, do a, some guitar jamming here and there, and we just gathered a bunch of people together. And, and uh, then last year I decided, you know what, I want to make this big. And uh, this year we have um, a couple of girls that were on America's Got Talent, Christina awesome. and Allie uh, Christensen from Idaho. They made it all the way to the top ten in there. And, their doctors told them that they would never be able to sing and just they just because have, they have cystic fibrosis they have That's cystic fibrosis thing. we just have a message to share with people you can achieve your dreams you can do anything you set your mind to and 
America fell in love with them. Yep. And we're having them. We're also having Mary Jane Alm. That's awesome. And uh, Tim Mahoney, Scott Hansen has jumped on the bandwagon. He'll be here for uh, to perform for us and do some emceeing. Uh, not only that, but we have all kinds of other uh, activities that we're going to be doing. We'll have the police and fire. Jill set that up for us. She Very trains cool. some of them. Awesome. Uh, we'll do, um, and a fire truck will be here on site. Um, so we'll things for all ages, lots all of ages. activities for the young ones too? Clowns, uh, face painters, and we have all just all kinds of stuff too. And, and a pig roast. We're I was having. just going to say, and the food is awesome too. Yeah, it's incredible. We have two pigs that we're roasting, uh, huge 250 pound pigs, oh corn roast and, and uh, all kinds of stuff. And another important part too is this auction that you have. We have a silent auction, with, which will have about 200 items, is what we're uh, currently on track for. We have many live auction items. Uh, one that we're real excited about is Clint Black's going to be here in August. Yeah. And he, they have donated four tickets to his event wow. and a meet and greet, and it will come with a guitar to take with them to have him autograph. How and cool is that? Just that's one of them. Awesome. We've got a trip to Las Vegas. and all kinds of things. I mean this you've gone from like you said you had some kind of smaller things that you did over the years but I mean you have really amped this up taken it from you know kind of a just a small pass the hat to a very major event. That's, it is. That's a lot of work it isn't is. it? That's Jill has it been a lot of work for the family yeah. but Rob has done most of it. It's a lot of, definitely a lot of organizing, a big learning process yeah. um, but it's for the cause. And, and it turned out great last year, although a little bit of weather issues, that's not going to be the case this year for sure. I put in my order <laughs> early. Our event last year was July 17th, yes. and on the 18th we put in our order for good weather for this Excellent. year. Excellent. Perfect. And so you boys, what is your favorite part about this event? What are you looking forward to? Um, the music, probably. Yeah. How about you, AJ? What's your favorite part? Probably the jumpy houses because that's pretty much the only thing I do. That's well, that's <laughs> a fun thing to do, and so you guys are all a big music family, and you have some great names coming here. That is just so cool that they've all you know agreed to participate. And how many people do you think you might have here? What are you hoping for? You know, I'm hoping for 500. That's kind of where we're putting the cap on it. So, but I'm estimating you know somewhere between four and 500. We've got a lot of people that are that are. Um, already responding yeah. and paying and, and getting their buying their mugs and t-shirts and things <laughs> like that so it's it's coming a, it's, together it's all coming together and you have a beautiful home and a beautiful yard so there's plenty of room for all this to take yep. place and for the 500 people but most importantly if people want to find out more and they want to get their tickets where should they go how do they do that well it's, our website is ready to go it's all um, at www.cffmusicfest.com Dot com. It's all one word. Okay. CFF as in Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, musicfest.com. And everything they need to know is right there, including a little video from last year yep. and some pictures. So check it out for sure. This is a great event. We wish you all the best and thanks for putting such time and effort into such a great cause. That's really incredible. A lot Thank of people will benefit from that. Well, back here on the rooftop at Rudy's Red Eye Grill, I have with me Bill Fitzard and Joanne Shaver, both co-owners of Rudy's uh, Red Eye Grill and the White Bear Country and that's connected to it. And you guys, thanks for having us up on the rooftop today. What a beautiful day. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it's an exciting day because you guys are in the throes of putting the final touches on this new construction up here and a remodel inside the hotel lots going on let's start with the rooftop bill where did this idea come from how did you guys think you know, we've just rooftop? been talking about it for years and i mean tying this in with a charter boat on the lake so okay. we're renovating the hotel completely this is the time we get the rooftop done so she might say, hey. <laughs> but it's just funny it'll seat 70 people i mean just the detail and whatever there's an additional kitchen on the roof so the food 
you know, it's too far to come from the main kitchen, so there's a, a kitchen here. Yeah. The bar seats 20, I mean, it seats 70. It's just fun. People want to be outside in the summertime. What, what was the concept going into it? I mean, because it could have been anything, so what, what was important to you in kind of the creation process? I think we wanted to keep the same menu as Rudy's because people um, do expect that when they come here, our food is excellent. Yes. But we wanted to put a different twist on it, make it a little bit more, um, fun and open, you know, outside, colorful, um, energetic, and I, I think we, once we get all the furniture up here, you're going to see that I think we really did accomplish it. Absolutely, and it's kind of cool because this is the going to be the only venue of this kind really in the northeast suburbs, you know, Correct. for quite yes. some time. Or, or you know, in a suburb. Yeah. yeah. In St. Paul or Minneapolis. Yeah. So. Come to White Bear. Stay in White Bear. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the details that people will find up here because there's some really neat things like a fireplace. Describe what people will be seeing when that's all finished. Well, we do have a fireplace that's going to pretty much mirror the one that we have in Rudy's um, with bright colored sofas around it. Very comfortable. A lot of um, a lot of fun umbrellas and tables, and we're putting heaters in. We've got TVs. It's exactly. just comfortable. Yeah. You know, so think, everything music. that you <laughs> might see inside Rudy's is going to be, be up, here. up here. And you'll just be outside. Right. And like you said, heaters, of course, in Minnesota, we never know what the weather is going to be like. If it's not, you know, raining or snowing, you know, right. the heaters will help out in the fall. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be open, you know, through the fall probably. Definitely. Yeah. But or we even went... looking at maybe an ice bar in the winter. Oh, very cool. <clears throat> and there's going to be a neat feature. I love spiral staircases and there's going to be one of those in place when this is finished right it's coming right by the main entrance of the hotel yeah. people can come up by the elevator which the is good third to floor. know yeah but and we've we've gone to so many other rooftops too trying to get the best yeah. ideas from all and i just it's going to be neat it's going to be this will make rudy's a destination in white bear country and destination for white bear absolutely you look at tally's as a destination the apple orchard yeah. it's just more reasons coming to our white bear and not just to visit but to spend the night or week or whatever we talk about so. some of the renovations going on inside the hotel you there's know, some really major the stuff hotel happening. is being upgraded as well we're becoming a best western plus um, new business center, new fireplace and lobby. Lobby's being renovated. New um, exercise room. We're adding massage studio. We have so many women that are here on weekends when husbands are fishing and hunting. <laughs> Just want martinis and a massage. Oh, It'll fabulous. It'll be someone from outside will run it and whatever, but it's just one more thing to do. I bet that's where we're going to find you, Joanne. Absolutely. Where's Joanne? Oh, she's in the, the massage room having a martini. You know, all the rooms um, are being upgraded. New yeah. carpet, bedding, drapes, new chairs. The pool has the a pool new area. upgraded We just area. put a brand new whirlpool in that came yeah. in last year. New railing around a new complimentary continental breakfast area for hotel guests. So, I mean, it's just little steps where, you know, that'll be done by August. Why but, do such a major renovation? I mean, this is tough times economically. Why is it Do you know what? Our sales continue to grow. We really want, our number one goal is to be an asset to the community. Everybody, it's, you know, the community really supports Rudy's and the hotel, and we got to make it better. We, we have to be better stay, today. Stay we have to be better tune. tomorrow than we are today, and I, we're just bringing it up. Really, it was beautiful before. It was yeah, very nice, absolutely. but we're just tweaking it. This, the rooftop, is a, is incredible. I so mean, you this, just look at the, the detail, oh, the absolutely. roof line. It's and, gorgeous with the whole know, shake yeah, shingles and stuff. It's, it's going to be incredible here. So yeah. people can enjoy the rooftop yet this summer. Oh, and, oh, yeah. uh, you know, I thank you guys for sharing, giving us a look. Obviously, it's still, you know, under construction at this time. But by the time people see this, the finishing touches will be just about done and finished throughout the month of July. It'll be open. Before you know it, Rudy Teenies Woo! on yeah, Rudy's Rudy. rooftop. Yes, I, I've just told them that I'm going to hang out here and they're going to have to kick me off the rooftop. But I do have a question for you guys. Do you think we'll be able to see the Manitou Days Parade from here next year? I don't, I don't know, know about the parade, but <laughs> I think the, the fireworks. Oh, the fact, perfect. Fourth yes. of July fireworks. Perfect for up here. You just see Look them right up. like, oh, yeah. that's going to be awesome. And, you know, speaking of parades, our Suburban Community Channel's staff and friends of SEC took in some parades this summer. And so we're going to take you to some of that in a piece that I called Capturing the Community Television on Parade. So let's take a look at that. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. we
Oakdale Parade today. Team NID rules! What is your role in today's parade? Mine is just to make sure that something doesn't go wrong. So I kind of come up, but we come up the back part of the parade just to make sure everything's okay and we didn't have any problems. What is the best part of a parade? Uh, I think, you know, for for me and the role in the city, it's just seeing everybody lined up, enjoying the event, and then seeing the huge crowd that we have down in the band shell. So I just like seeing all our citizens come out and have a good time. Well, it's great to be here at the parade in Oakdale, and we love SCC and GTN, and uh, great to see you at the parade. I'm Madison and I was the Oakdale Royal Princess for 2010 and 2011. I'm Holly Jeske, I was um, Oakdale Royal Princess 2011-2012. And how do you become a Royal Princess? You get the most points and try your best and are very kind. And what is the best part about being a princess? Getting to meet all the new girls, going to the parade. Um, meeting all the new girls and doing, you know, I say a lot of the charity work and events and representing Old Scale for all the friends. Parades are always a great time. Um, you get to be out and with all the groups of people and, and especially with the, the kids taking them out and throwing out candies and stuff like that. So I have a good time with it. I like to see all the smiles. Uh, I like to see people on camera. So it's a good time. And this is Jared, and I know that Jared is the parade candy throwing expert for SCC, aren't you? Yep. What is your favorite part about being in the parade? My favorite part is seeing my friends and kind of get to know some people and get to know some people from SCC and that I normally don't get to normally see. And it's just a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun today, right? Yeah. All right, high five. What do you like about being in a parade? Um, I like it. It's my favorite thing. You guys still get candy even though you're in the parade? Pretty much, and probably that's what makes me the happiest. Yeah. So you are? Jeff Rosales. And you do? I do my own video production and I volunteer at SCC. And why did you decide to come out and be a part of the parade? I just like uh, community TV and I want to give back because they've given me the opportunity to uh, do what I want to do. Did you know that your community television station is number one in the nation for the second year in a row? Well, of course we are. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? Uh, you know, I just love the stuff. I live in Oakdale, so Oakdale is my uh, neighborhood. And uh, I always see people in the parade here and uh, they, you know, smile and wave, and it's kind of fun. What do you think about the news that we got this week about our organization and the ACM award? Overall excellence. And this is the second year in a row, so that's pretty huge. Yeah, that is huge, definitely. It's a national award, and you know, there are literally hundreds of uh, stations around the country that compete in it, so we're pretty special. We are, and it makes it a great place to work, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it's a fun place to work. Winning the National Overall Excellence and Peg Access Award for the second year in a row is pretty exciting for us. It lets us know that we're continuing to do a very good job of showcasing all the positive things that go on here in our communities. And our next segment is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Now earlier we showed you around the new rooftop venue here at Rudy's Red Eye Grill. 
Now we're going to take you to another venue located in Oakdale called the SOS Coffee Bar and Dance Club. It's a unique sober bar that offers so much more than most people would think. According to manager Ken Douglas, this nonprofit alcohol-free party place is just the ticket to changing the way society thinks about having fun the safe and sober way. SOS Coffee Bar and Dance Club. SOS is Spirit of Sobriety. Had some issues way back in the, my early days and it became clear that I was gonna have to change something. So uh, I went through treatment, quit drinking, quit doing drugs. Um, but I felt that there had to be just a little bit more to it. Have enough and uh, uh, so I suggested one night uh, to some of our friends that were sitting around with nothing to do uh, that maybe we start a dry bar. And so it keeps me sober. We still uh, think there's a, a lot of people out there uh, that given a choice or uh, looking for an alternative uh, that can have fun without drinking or alcohol. Um, this is an alternative. They have dances here, dance classes, and then they have dance parties sometimes. Um, West Coast Swing is a slower swing dance. Um, East Coast is faster than West Coast. Different activities every day, you know, like right now they've got a cribbage tournament and, you know, there's always something going on, you know. We do all the things that other places do, we just do it sober. You know, a lot of birthday parties, weddings, uh, we've had blood drives, we do all kinds of benefits. We have karaoke, uh, again, it's an odd thing, sober karaoke, um, but they have a lot of fun. And basically, it's the dancing that's keeping us open. And, uh, and we keep looking for more instructors that kind of get the idea that they may not get rich here, but they're gonna help a lot of people. And again, a lot of people will come here and take a lesson that won't go to a bar. Memorial Day weekend on a Sunday, which is usually not the busiest day of the year for anybody, but we had over 140 young adults here, well-mannered, no sass, uh, well-organized, and having a really good time. And when I'm standing in the back observing me, that, that does it for me, you know because that's sort of what we're trying to do. Show the younger people that you can have fun without drugs and or alcohol. And of course, we're pretty much raised to think that's impossible, you know. <laughs> A lot of the reason people go back to drinking is they've had to abandon their friends, their bars, or you know, a lot of them drink at home, but um, they're, they're lonely looking for something to do and they just give it all up and go back to the bar. Uh, there's an old saying in AA, you sit in the barber shop long enough, you're gonna get a haircut. And so you don't wanna go to the bar. Just, there's always someone here that has some background in recovery. Um, in fact, we like to talk about, you know, place have all these meetings, but what we talk about is we have meetings on demand. You show up here, we can almost see that you're looking for something, and uh, you'll find it. To accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We've had helped hundreds of uh, recovering addicts get restarted. There isn't a person that hung around in places like this that didn't find out that they had more fun clean than they ever had using. The number one thing you hear from all these people is their worst day sober is better than their best day using. You know, and that's a fact. I love it 
right here. It's like it's like my home away from home. I I, I could live here. <laughs> People think you have to be a non-drinker to come up here, but you don't. It's just anybody. Come, a lot of people come up here that drink. They just choose. They just choose to come up here because they don't. They like the atmosphere because it's a non-threatening atmosphere. And there's lots of things to do. I mean, like I said, different nights of the week, he has something different going on all the time, and uh, it's, it's a good, fun place. I'd say come here. It's it's fun and it's really entertaining and. Everybody's always willing to come up to you and say, hi, how are you, and they greet themselves. You're growing. Is she playing? And that's what we're trying to, you know, in other words, just be a fun experience. We're dependent on uh, the benevolence of other people, and we're always looking for more benevolence. It, it's about uh, bringing people in and, and getting them restarted. In the meantime, we need everybody else to help support all of that. Taking in the view from the rooftop of Rudy's Red Eye Grill is the perfect way to enjoy this great day and a good reason for me to let you go and close out today's show. Our thanks to the fine folks here at Rudy's. Please plan to check out this beautiful venue while the weather is still good and join me again in August for more local stories. Until then, I'm Judy Skyvoss and I do thank you for watching Local Image. Hi, I'm Community TV. I'm Network TV. What are you doing with all the network's equipment? Actually, this all belongs to the community station. Settle down. What could you possibly do with all this? It's not just for me. Many members of our community use this stuff to produce their own shows. Produce their own shows? Each year, Network spends billions of dollars producing high-quality content. We could never afford to trust the likes of you with our equipment. They don't even let me touch that stuff. Trust me. With a few lessons, anyone can make TV. Anyone? Could I hold one of those cameras? Sure. Sweet! <laughs>